Welcome back, back Chicken Potato, Potato Squad. This well, is gonna be weird. Episode 1, Bread Edition. First step, we're just gonna prepare the dough. So it's just a basic dough. We've got about a packet of yeast, a cup of water, um, and four cups of yeast, or two cups of water. And we're just gonna stir it up, stir, stir, stir. And we're gonna let it proof for about two hours. And then we've got a nice big puffy dough, yay. We can make two of these. Yep, we doubled the batch, so we're going to have plenty of dough to test out. Weirdly. So we floured the surface, and we're going to divide it up. So we've got our bench scraper, our trusty bench scraper. We're going to turn it out onto the floured surface. It's hard with only <laughs> two hands. So we've got this. Turn it out. The sound is so satisfying. It's like a blob. <laughs> All right, here we go, very sticky. We're just gonna start by cutting it in half. Yep. One of them is gonna be our control, so that is just gonna be a normal loaf. That one is gonna be baked in a Dutch oven, preheated Dutch oven in the actual oven, at I believe 450 degrees, or no, that's too hot, 400 or something degrees. And so yeah, we're just gonna make a nice bowl. It's a bit floury. Now we're just going to set it aside in its proofing bowl. And this one's double the size of all the other portions. Yes, because we don't want to waste too much and we want to save for some good bread. Now we're just cutting this other half in half. We're going to let that proof aside. And we're going to cut this other half in half. Following this, with each one of the separated dough pieces, we're going to cook it in a different way. Because who knows, maybe baking isn't the actual, nor like, best way of baking bread. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Because we've been doing it wrong for a million years. Just tuck it under itself so that way you don't pop any bubbles. So don't roll it between your hands. Yes. Like you would do with Play-Doh or something. When you're trying to make a smoothie. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have two of the bowls. And we're going to have a few more. We're going to cut the other batch into the rest. So we'll have about a total of six. And here we have our six on a baking tray, each on their little piece of parchment. And we're going to let them proof for their two hours. Yeah. <laughs> pan fried! Let's cook these breads! So first up, we've got pan fried. Just put a little bit of oil in there. Very good. Warm it up. Is it ready? And not nope. quite, <laughs> according to the finger. A little bit too hot, maybe. Look how liquidy it is and we're flipping in the bread I'm trying to take off this parchment it's very stuck <laughs> you can see how much it doubled in size there yep and you can see the sizzly bubbles sizzly sizzly expecting it to be sort of like a pancake yeah what's a sis cool yeah man <laughs> <laughs> and now it's ready for the flip let's see if we've got skills Oh, that's pretty good. Oh! There you go. Let it cook for a little bit longer. Some nice browning, if you ask me. Just very good. And then let it cook on that side and hopefully get cooked all the way through. I'm sure most of these reds could probably work better. A bit soft in there um, than how they were, but. Boiled! Just got some boiling water here. We're just gonna just plop, plop it in. Red right in. <laughs> it's floating like a dumpling. <laughs> and we're just gonna let it cook again. Here it goes. I hope it doesn't get soft. Oh. Now it's quite cooked. Uh, my, my, my. <laughs> the sound effects are quality. The beeping sound. Alright, and the flip is not going very well. Oh, there we go. It's looking a bit weird. A bit, um, Just a little gloopy. And there's a beautiful apple. Why does it look like a blob? Steamed. 
got our steam room here, very fancy. Put in the parchment and everything, and there you go. I expect this one to be good. We're gonna put it in for a bit longer. It's almost like a bow. Oh, we're gonna take it out. Yep. Very nice. Water shine. Very nice. Microwave. Wave. So we put the dough in a bowl. Then now this is after we, we took it, it out. Wipe down the bowl <laughs> and then put it in it. upside down, trying to get more even. But it ended up still getting. It rised really well. Pan in the oven. So just a pan on the oven, cooked at the normal temperature. Looks pretty good. And barbecue. barbecue, my favorite personally. Got some nice char. We warmed up the oven to the grill setting. Oh, just on a piece of foil. And you put it in. Is it aluminum foil or something? Cooking up in there. I love the smell of barbecue. Here's, we flipped it and we took it off the thing. And then the classic, the Dutch oven. So we created the Dutch oven. Here it is, our dough that doubled in size. This is our bigger portion because yep. we know this one will work. Yes. Decided to score it, I believe. Just cause it. I use I use scissors. Very good. You know, chop, chop, chop. Excellent. You don't have to score this bread. I just find that sometimes it's fun. <laughs> Control the rippage, whatever it's called. I'm not really sure. And I have my very hot Dutch oven. This has been in the oven. Mm -hmm. And now we're just gonna put our pricked dough into our hot Dutch oven. With the parchment and all, it's just easier. And then we're gonna put it in a hot oven. Bloop. And with the lid on too. For about 20 minutes and then take off the lid about 15 minutes. And then if you wanna get it nice and crispy, you can just take it out of the pot completely. Toss it in the oven and put it for another five minutes. It's our mission! Yay, chickens! <laughs> <laughs> Our fried one, pan so, fried. As you can see, it has a bit uh, browning brown. here, a, a bit, bit burnt, burnt. Side, but we're just not pretty sure. heavy. Yep. So I don't know if it's fully cooked. All right, yep. let's cut it open. Just a half. Yeah, just a half. <coughs> it's a bit raw in the middle, but it's not too see bad. That? Just like that one strip. Yeah. So we'll cut off a bit of the cooked part and take a try. Okay. You? Here. See, it's a bit doughy in, in the, middle. the middle. So let's take that That's out. That's a little more than I thought it was. A little slice. Yeah, it's way, it's pretty cooked actually. All right, here we go. I don't mind it. I mean, it's a little weird, obviously. Mm hmm. And it's a bit burnt on the bottom, but I don't mind the taste. The texture is definitely different than normal bread, though. Yeah. Alright. So, next. I just realized something. It sort of looks like a brie cheese. <laughs> now, clean, cleaned, cleared our palate, cleaned our palate, I don't even know. And we're going for the steamed. Do you want to describe it for them? So it's a little sticky, sort of. And it's not like the type of bread you're meant to steam, so it's obviously really weird. I don't it's know. really shiny, I find. But it's not sticky, per se. It's just gummy. It's really hard to describe. <laughs> Let's give it a cut. You can go ahead. Okay. It cuts really easily. Let's see if it's it feels cooked. Yeah, it's pretty cooked. It's a little bit um raw and around the same place, but it's not as bad as the other one. Yeah, 
and it's pretty, has them pretty close to the right height. I'm gonna cut us up a few slices. Pretty much everything here is cooked, maybe a bit in the middle. Take that out. All right, let's give it a try. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating that. <laughs> okay, when you bite it, it's just like, it feels like it's not there. <laughs> it's sort of like if you cut out the middle of white bread <laughs> and you're just eating that. But, but stickier. It's stickier. <laughs> oh, that's not very appealing. I can't eat that. <laughs> I am. It just becomes sort of a putty. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. All right, let's go to the next. Next up we have Mr. Microwave. It's sort of dry in some spots and sort of like smooth in other spots. Like where it was on the bottom in the bowl, it's like more, I you can sort of see like a divide. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's just try it, I guess. It puffed up more it's than the other ones. It's quite like hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I just have a little bit of a hard time. Maybe we should sharpen the knife first. I don't know if this is Can our fault. Can you sharpen red knives? Probably, actually. I don't really know anything about knives. <laughs> Come on. So the bottom part that was in the bowl has become hard, like almost like a rock. <laughs> Keep cutting. Here, let me try. <laughs> well then. One moment. Really saw that down. There we go. Oh, it doesn't look too bad inside. It actually looks like bread inside. So, But the bottom yeah. half is very hard. The top half is nice and soft. As you can see my finger go in. But like this is hard like a rock. <laughs> I'm actually so excited to try this. <laughs> Slice. Here's my slice. So you can see the bendiness on this side and then the rigidness on this side. Oh gosh. I don't think I'll be able to eat the hard part. Alright, so the top half, it came out chewy. good. But it, yeah, it's a little bit chewy. But now the hard half, it tastes like stale bread. It dies. Yeah, the hard half. And I wouldn't know how to fix that. Mm -hmm. I noticed that while we were microwaving, a bit of water went to the bottom. Oh. So maybe, I don't know. Well, I don't know yeah. enough about microwaves. It's very interesting. All right, here we go. This is the baked on a pan. Yeah, not in the Dutch oven. The normal recipe is baked with a Dutch oven. So this is just normal baked. And that has a nice hollow sound, like baked bread should have. Not much of a crust, I would have to say. Right. The interior looks like normal bread. I hope this is a break from any bad ones. <laughs> oh, here comes boiled next up. All right, yep, so pretty normal. Yeah, it tastes like normal it's just bread. Normal bread. All right. That one's boring. Next up, boiled. All right, next up, the boiled one. Very sticky and gross. very moist on the other side. Moist on the bottom. Yeah. And it has been dubbed the blobfish bread. <laughs> it's pretty raw. We boiled it for like quite a while, but you can tell it's very raw in the middle. We'll take a bit from the edge. And yeah, the after this we're gonna bake all this bread and hopefully salvage not waste it. Yeah, hopefully salvage as much as we can. And if not, it'll go in the compost or to the animals. All right, here we go. My little piece of boiled bread. What do you think? <laughs> she tosses it into the <laughs> dish oven. 
Disgusting. Nah. Disgusting. It just has a cheese texture. I do not recommend that one. That one's like unable to salvage. Unless you boiled unable. it and then baked it. Yeah, I feel like... Because that's how you make pretzels and bagels and stuff. So you can probably bake it. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Next up, barbecue. So, barbecue. It's like quite hard, but it definitely didn't rise. Here's that side. We tried putting grill marks on this side. And this side is more brown because it was on the bottom side of the aluminum. Tin foil? Tin foil. Is it aluminum foil or tin foil? No idea. All right, let's see the interior. I don't know how cooked it is. Oh, it actually looks pretty cooked. As you can see, it's, it's a little bit sticky. Weirdly flat. Yeah, so it might not be fully cooked. But let's try it. Smells really good. It smells really good, and tastes good too. Like I feel like if we cooked it a bit longer, like it started raining, but if we cooked it a bit longer, it would have been pretty much perfect. Yeah, because it's quite doughy for me. Yeah, like um, I have a more of an outer edge. See how doughy it is. Like this side, see, it's like not really doughy. So, yeah, I actually found that one really good. Barbecue your bread. Yeah. I feel like you'd have to like find out the temperature and stuff. Probably if you did like normal bread baking temperatures, like 450. Yeah. That's the recipe. Uh, that's what I use for this recipe. Then it could probably work. Okay. Last but certainly not least, Dutch oven. Yay! This is how we usually make this one. This is the perfect, most beautiful bread. Nice and hollow. Has a beautiful score on it. Yeah. Oh, the crust. So this is pretty much how it's supposed to be. You can see all those air holes or air pockets, whatever they're called. Cut a little slice. Push slice. What I like using the Dutch oven is like it's pretty much the same as this, the other one. I find that it like rises more, and also that. Um, Delicious piece of bread. It's crunchier on the crust. So this is definitely the only one with a crust of any sort. I feel. No, the pan's the pan fried. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much normal bread. Mm hmm Really good? Yeah. Yeah. Recommend it. Have a nice day. This has been very weird. <laughs> well, it might have been weird, but all I'm going to say is it was definitely not normal.